Hey team, my name's Nick, and today I'm going to show you how I've leveraged Boomi to build an integration process which handles a paginated API. Now, just before I get into the platform, I do want to give you a brief overview of the context. So first of all, I have an API which uh, takes a page number as an input. So for instance, if page equals one, that would then be part of the resource path, and then it will go and call the API. The API will then talk to a backend, uh, could be a database of some sort, and then bring back the particular resource that I'm after. And this is the type of API I'm trying to handle in Boomi by creating a process which handles such paginated APIs. So what I start off with is a set property shape. Now using the set property shape, what I'm doing here is making a dynamic document property called page number. I'm giving that property a static value of one because I want to get the first page before I start incrementing. Now, once I'm done with that, then I will call the API, which I've configured. In order to call the API, I'm using Boomi's HTTP client connector, which you can find over here by just dragging and dropping the particular shape on the canvas. Now, for connecting to the API, what I've done is configured the connection parameters. So these include the username and password as well as the base URL. And then I've also configured an operation which has the particular resource path that I'm trying to get in touch with. And I also have the page number, which is the same name as the dynamic document property that I've given before. And I've made that a replacement variable. So this is simply just a placeholder and is subject to change. So once I've called the API, I will then get the results of the first page. Now this decision shape here is to just simply check if the records that are sent back to me are empty or not. So I'm just testing if the particular JSON profile and part of it, which is the total records, is uh, zero or not. If it's not, then we want to do more processing with it. If it is, we want to stop the process immediately. Next, I have a branch shape. Now this branch shape has two branches. So in the first branch, I'm collecting the documents that the API has previously called. And the second branch is all focused on incrementing the page number. So the way I start to do that is first, I check if the current page is the same as the last page. So to do this, I just have a set property shape. And in the set property shape, I have the dynamic document property, which is page number. And I also have a, another dynamic document property, which is the total pages. And then in the decision shape, what I do is I check if the dynamic document property of the current page is equal to the dynamic document property of the total pages. And what this is doing is just checking if I'm on the last page or not. If I'm on the last page, we don't want to do any more incrementing. So we'll fall down the true path and then we'll stop. But if it's not the last page, then it will go down the false path to a map shape. And this map shape is what does the incrementing. So if I select the map shape, you'll see that I have a source profile, which consists of the particular page number. And I'm using one of Boomi's many functions to add or increment a value of one to it. So the function that I'm using is a numeric function, so math add. And then using that function, I add one to whatever value is coming from the source profile. And then I map that result to a new profile, which I've created, which, which captures the current page or the page that I'm trying to increment to. Once I'm done with that, I then set this uh, page number, which is a dynamic document property, as the current page, which I've set in the map previously. And this, I've given it a value of whatever's in the JSON profile. So this will attribute that, that to the page number. Once I'm done with that, I always make it a practice to implement error handling wherever possible. And to do this, I've used Boomi's try catch shape. What this will do is try a request to an API. And if for whatever reason that request fails, then it will flow down the catch path so once I've done that, I've then mapped that to all the way back to the original HTTP client connector. And this client connector 
will then capture the value that's coming to the page number, which will be the incremented value. So what this will do is give me page two. So what I'll do is I'll quickly just test this. As you can see, the test executed successfully. And in the return document shape over here, I'll find that I have two documents. And if I just open them up, I'll find that the first document consists of page one results. And then the second document will consist of page two results. So this is how you design a process to handle a paginated API. You can then use this process in other processes as a sub process to be able to fetch a complete set of data from the API and then push it into a particular end system or do some further manipulation with it.